my hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and god bless you for always supporting me for the new ones you are welcome please before you leave this channel make sure you subscribe and when you subscribe remember to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so guys today's video is going to be very interesting very juicy so stick here don't click off i'm doing this video of today because of some reasons and these reasons are so important that is why you should watch this video first of all i've been helping ladies out there instagram especially they always come up with some questions to ask me so that i can help on dating and these ladies most of them date white men or they want to date white men so there is a time i was helping a lady and this lady is 20 years old so she told me, Bella, I want to get married to a white man, but it doesn't matter the age. Even if the man is 80 years old, I am so ready. <laughs> I don't care. And I'm glad I managed to convince her, change her mind of how she thought. Another reason is there is another lady. She was just getting started online dating. So she did not have any experience. And she came up with this question whereby she asked me her age is 25 years old and she told me I've been online for a week now but most men who are interested in me are only old men she told me Bella can you please help me to tell me what is the right age to date at my age of 25 years old so these questions pushed me to do this video of today because i know there are some ladies out there who thinks the same way or who have the same questions like these ladies who asked me so that is why i'm doing this video of today i want to help a sister out there my advice number one to a young black lady who wants to get married to a 60 70 80 years old but she is 20 years old and the reason why she wants to get married to this much older white man is that she thinks this old man is mature and he knows how to treat a woman i want to tell you my dear young sister a man's age does not define his level of maturity there is a lot of older men who are not mature enough they don't know how to treat a woman so age should not fool you if you lie to yourself and jump into a relationship with this older man and then get married to him you come to find out that he was immature you will be very disappointed i want to advise you something on this guys in order for you to know if a man is mature you shouldn't look at his age what you should look at is the way he behaves the way he treats you the way he talks to you the way he solves problems when they are presented to him then you will know that this man is mature but a guy being 60 being 50 being 70 80 and then say yes i found the one he is mature he knows how to treat a woman you just imagine without proving these things you will be sorry for yourself i tell you so please look at how this man treats you look at how he behaves then that means this man is mature but not the age you shouldn't date a much older man just because you think he is mature not at all a lot of older men are just running around with young girls <laughs> he takes a lady stays with this lady for two months and then dumps her takes another one and i also have an experience on this you know i always get real with you guys like i said one time when I was online dating, before meeting my husband, there is a day I was chatting with a guy. His profile stated that he was 40 years old. 
so we were chatting and afterwards he told me do you have skype i told him yes i have skype so we exchanged skype names and immediately this guy called me when i opened the camera do you know what i found on the camera he was holding his eggplant and he wasn't shy guys he told me do you like it <laughs> is it big enough and this guy wasn't even 40 years old like the profile was saying he looked like 65 yes guys very old was this man mature not at all he wasn't another example there is a time i was helping a lady and she told me that she is dating a 45 years old man and this girl expected a lot from this man and she also believed that because this guy is 45 years old then he is mature but she shared some information with me about the whole relationship by just the first message this girl sent me that they were chatting with this 45 years old man it showed clearly that the guy was not mature enough and to make things worse they had an argument then this guy just stopped messaging this girl but he was online so this girl was just seeing him online but not replying any messages so when this girl wrote to me i told her this guy is a player and by looking at the messages and the whole story this guy is not mature then she was like no but the guy is 45 years old why are you telling me that he is not mature how do you know i told her by the look of the messages by the look of the whole story that you're telling me by the action of not replying your messages but staying online it means that he is not mature enough you cannot run from problems if you had an argument you can't just keep quiet on someone you love just like that that was immaturity and that is why i'm telling you guys the age should not fool you to say that this man is old so he is mature he knows how to treat a lady not at all look at his actions my advice number two goes to a young beautiful lady who has not studied much and she has been trying to look for a job in her country not finding any she is so desperate and she's at the point of giving up because she is desperate and we are not blaming her guys life can be hard life can be tough sometimes she thinks of getting married to a much older man of 60 70 80 years old so that this man can help her go to europe or america or australia to find job but not love my advice my dear young sister you deserve better do not do it do not try it because you are going to suffer why am i saying this it's because here in europe I'm going to talk of Europe because I'm in Europe, especially Italy. So you've come maybe from Africa and you don't have enough education and you are here with this old man. <laughs> then you stay like two or three months the way you think, the way you, the way you are planning in your head that you're going to stay here two to three months or a year. And after that, then you will leave this man then go look for a job and be on your own. What I'm telling you is, <laughs> it's going to be very, very difficult for you to find a job here because it's not easy. Maybe you say, I'll be a babysitter, I'll be a nanny, I'll get cleaning jobs. Remember, you won't be able to get a job if you don't have a permanent address. You won't be able to get a job if you don't have documents legal documents unless you do black jobs <laughs> and these black jobs they always pay very little which won't be enough for you to survive and not only that guys if you leave this old man and decide to be on your own don't think that this old man is going to leave you alone he might report you and you get deported or he might create any story just to make you deported 
so it's not easy guys finding a job here is not easy maybe i should talk a little bit about babysitting job especially here in italy it's not easy to get a babysitting job here if people don't know you i've been here and i've noticed that most people take babysitters that they know take the babysitters that babysitted maybe their friends kids <laughs> for example here in my family when we take a babysitter we take a babysitter that babysitted sophie's brother who is 14 years old now so you can see they take someone that they really trust so you can't just run away from this old man and get a job don't fool yourself you will be deported if you want to be deported then you're going to stand on the streets so that you can survive is it the life that you want i think not and i don't wish that you live such kind of a life you might also come and this old man doesn't allow you to work and you cannot leave him so you're going to work for him and remember you don't love him so it's the worst situation that you can find yourself in i want to give you another example and this and these examples i always tell you these real stories so that you can learn from them there is a lady that i know she's so close to me she's from zambia there is a time she called me she was at the point of giving up she was so desperate she had done a lot of job interviews but not getting any her rent was over she didn't have where to stay one time she called me she was like you know what bella i don't know where i'm going to sleep today because my rent is over so she was telling me bella please invite me so that i can stay with you there and look for a job i told her i love you so much but i can invite you but when you arrive here you're going to stay only a month and you will have to go back to your country <laughs> because you can't i can't just invite you and then you look for a job they're going to ask you a lot of documents why are you in the country where are you staying and all that if they come to know you you only came with a tourist visa then you will be deported back i tried to explain and she understood me but she was so desperate she told me bella i am very desperate so what she did after two weeks she called me she was like you know what i found a job in saudi arabia so she found this agency that helps girls to go to saudi arabia to do housekeeping jobs so this girl left and after three weeks i had to check on her to see how she's doing she told me ah i am fine and my contract is five years to stay here but i am very disappointed in myself because yesterday i received a call back home in zambia from one of the companies where i did an interview that i have got a job i should go and report on monday so she told me i am so disappointed and the reason why i'm disappointed is that the salary that they were going to pay me back home there in zambia is twice the salary that i'm getting here as a housekeeper and i do a lot of work compared to the salary that i'm getting but i cannot get out of it i'm in a trap because my contract is five years so this can also happen to you if you take a much older man that you don't love and afterwards you cannot work or you cannot find a job you go in street to sell yourself so to avoid all that my dear young ladies please do not marry a much older guy just because you want to go in europe you want to go in america to find a job my advice number three to a young beautiful black lady who wants to get married to a much older white man just because she thinks that older white men are rich i want to tell you something guys not all some have worked for the whole of their lives but they were not paying tax and if this old man did not pay tax the whole of his life even if maybe he had a company but he was not paying tax which they exist guys if he gets old at that age of 70 80 years old he does not have any pension 
It means that this man has got difficulty in living. Even if he has got a house, that does not mean that he is rich. Even if he has got small money, some much older men might have this small money <laughs> to blind your eyes and you think, ah, oh, he is old. You think, ah, oh, he has got money, he saved. And then you get married to him. You will be surprised finding out that this old man is just living a normal life or a poor life and you are there already there is no point of return no return point and remember you don't love him you you just you just married him because you thought he was rich also there are these older white men who have very small pension yes they have worked but they don't have savings because they spent all the savings maybe enjoying life traveling the world they have got a lot of debits to pay so they have very little money there is another story also i heard from another youtuber she was saying that there is this much older man who take ladies young ladies from africa and bring them to europe <laughs> just to use them <laughs> how just like i said a guy has been spending his money all his life traveling around the world he has got a lot of debits and then thinks of how am i going to retire my pension is very small then takes a young lady who is so ambitious wants to work and then takes this lady make her work for him <laughs> so you have too heavy work to do there is no need to be someone's if there is no need to do that at that young age just wait the right man of your age or the right man of the right age is going to come to you very soon just be patient just wait that is my advice my advice number four goes to a young beautiful black lady who wants to marry a much older white man just because she wants to take his money when he dies so she tells herself that i'm looking for a white older man <laughs> to marry me so that when he dies, i'm gonna take his money what i'm telling you my dear sister you are going to wait and wait and wait <laughs> until you will want to commit suicide because of depression frustrations <laughs> sufferings i'm saying this because it's not easy guys it's not easy as you think thinking of it might be easy i'm saying like this because for example europe has got very good health system so people don't just like that if someone gets sick they are going to try by all means to make sure that this man stands again bouncing <laughs> so you'll wait so much guys people live so long here much years you get married maybe to a 60 years old man thinking he's gonna die soon he's not gonna go you are going to suffer for the next 30 years that is jail if you have two babies with him then you're going to be taking care of three babies including him because he is old you have to take care of him and he does not have that energy parenting energy of a young man that is why guys you will suffer also maybe you think you want to travel the world see this see that this man will tell you i have seen all nothing new to see so he just wanna relax and stay at home which will annoy you so much and will bring depression to you because that is not what you thought another thing guys in marriage you have to do things together as a couple because without that it means you are single but pretending to be married so if this man is not doing a lot of things with you together like traveling together doing some activities together then where is the point of getting married yes he might be rich but you won't be able to enjoy it 
why have money that you cannot enjoy it and don't think that i'm going to get married to this rich old man and then cheat on him you are lying to yourself and when you start playing games wanting to go out and cheat on him do you know what will happen to you he is going to change his mind call his lawyer and change the will <laughs> then when he goes you have nothing left with you remember you said 30 years waiting for this money but you cannot get it also guys marrying much older man is hard guys because even the way they think is very different with what you think there is a very big age gap like 40 years 30 years difference guys what stories are you going to make i remember there is a 70 years old lady who was dating a 25 years boy they were both italians and this boy one time was writing to this old lady <laughs> greeting her like hey how are you doing then this woman was complaining that how can you call me hey hey what language is that hey <laughs> You see guys, a very big age gap <laughs> brings even misunderstandings. So <laughs> don't think that you're going to marry this rich old man and you will live happily, not at all. I've also seen a lady here in Italy. She's from Angola, yes. She got married to a man. Their difference is 45 years old. That man is very rich. He is an engineer retired they are living in a very beautiful seaside villa but this girl from angola if you see her she is not happy at all she's very depressed she's very frustrated that is why i am talking to you my dear beautiful young ladies do not exaggerate the age it is going to cost you that is self-sufferance why should you suffer when you can find a man of your age or a man of the right age my last last advice to you is that age is just a number yes i agree with you but do not exaggerate it do not exaggerate it to the age gap of 30 years 40 years 50 years my dear sister right now it might be okay he is 60 add 20 more years to come it means he's gonna be 80 imagine taking care of an 80 years old husband and you're 40 years old still very young you're going to waste your precious young years just like that take them and trash them into the dustbin there is no need for that and before you come for me guys <laughs> i know one time i got a comment and someone was saying sis he is old yes i know no one closed my eyes <laughs> before marrying my husband but the age gap does not exceed 20 years it doesn't so this brings me to a question whereby a lady was telling me she is 25 what is the right age to is the right age to date if you want to date a much older white man and my answer is if you are 25 do not go beyond 50 years old maximum yes i know guys we will all get there we will get old but there is no need of wasting your young years taking care of an old man just because of all the things that you have been thinking maybe maybe you want easy money or maybe you just want to get a job we will all get old yes i know but <laughs> it's not time yet <laughs> this brings me to last story guys i want to give you it's a last story and a short one very funny so last time watching a tv with my husband and there is this program whereby they show these funny memes or funny short videos so there was a birthday party of an 85 years old man and during the party they brought the cake so this old man was supposed to blow the candles so when he did like this <laughs> he had fake teeth he is old already so all the teeth fell into the cake and i was like oh. <laughs> my husband was like mm we all did oh. 
and I was laughing a lot so my hubby told me but don't laugh so much because we'll soon get there I was like no me not yet then he told me when I'm that age you too want to be young you'll be in your 70s <laughs> then I was saying 70 no I'll still be young you know <laughs> so <laughs> so we will get old yes but it's not time yet there is no there is no need of wasting your young age just because of the temporary situation. I hope this video has been very helpful to you. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy it. Comment below what you think about this video. Watch my other videos too. I love you so much. Let us meet in my next video. You are always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.